Welcome to the Financial Knowledge Network Money Smart Learning Series, Lesson Number 2, Borrowing Basics. In Borrowing Basics, we will be discussing the information you need to make better decisions about borrowing money. We will describe the basics of how credit works and provide detailed information about the various types of credit available. We will also help you determine if you are ready for credit and give you steps to improve your credit worthiness. Our objective is to build your knowledge, security, and confidence when dealing with the task of borrowing money. By the end of this course, you will be able to define credit, understand its importance, and identify various types of loans, including what is a good loan option and what isn't. Let's get started. What is credit? Credit is money you borrow to pay for things. It is usually referred to as a loan. Good credit may be the single most important aspect to managing your personal finances and cutting your expenses. We have many lessons devoted to getting and maintaining good credit. And following these principles will save you money on interest rates, insurance costs, and many other things. You make a promise to pay back the money you borrowed plus some extra. The extra amount is part of the cost of borrowing money. If you use credit carefully, it can be useful to you. If you are not careful in the way you use credit, it can cause problems. Good credit means that you make your loan payments on time to repay the money you owe. If you have a good credit record, it will be easier to borrow money in the future. Why is credit important? It can be useful in times of emergency. It is sometimes more convenient than carrying large amounts of cash. It allows you to make a large purchase, such as a car or a house, and pay for it over time. It can affect your ability to obtain employment, housing, and insurance, depending on how you manage it. Types of Loans Consumer Installment Loan A consumer installment loan is used to pay for personal expenses for you and your family. Examples are Auto Loans The automobile you are purchasing is used as collateral for the loan. Unsecured loans for short-term needs, such as buying a computer. Credit Cards Credit cards give you the ongoing ability to borrow money for household, family, and other personal expenses. Having a credit card does not mean you have the money to pay for a purchase. You need to be able to pay your monthly credit card bill. Home Loans Home loans are secured by your home. There are three main types of home loans. Home purchase loans are made for the purpose of buying a house. These loans are secured by the house you are buying. Home refinancing is a process by which an existing home loan is paid off and replaced with a new loan. Reasons homeowners might want to refinance their home loan include getting a lower interest rate, money for home repairs, money for other personal needs. Home equity loans are secured by a property of the borrower. The amount of equity is the value of the property minus the debt. Home equity loans generally can be used for any reason. The cost of credit. When you get a loan, there are generally two costs you must pay, fees and interest. Fees. Fees are charged by financial institutions for activities such as reviewing your loan application and servicing the account. Examples of fees include maintenance fees, service charges, late fees. Interest. Interest is the amount of money a financial institution charges for letting you use its money. The rate of interest can be either fixed or variable. Fixed rate means the interest rate stays the same throughout the term of the loan. Variable rate means the interest rate might change during the loan term. The loan agreement will show the details of the rate changes. Truth in Lending Disclosures Credit terms can be confusing because of the various rates and fees lenders charge. The Federal Truth in Lending Law requires banks to state charges in a clear and uniform manner so consumers can easily compare the actual cost of borrowing. Lenders must disclose the amount financed, annual percentage rate, APR, finance charge, and total payments. The True Cost of Alternative Financial Services Getting credit is not cheap. However, getting a bank loan is usually less expensive than other alternatives. We are going to take a look at three of these alternatives. Alternative financing should only be considered as a last resort. Even then, it is important to use the principles presented here in our learning programs to learn to live on a cash basis and avoid these types of programs altogether. 
The cost of credit in these situations is going to end up costing you way more than the value received. Rent to own services. Rent to own services let you use an item for a period of time by making monthly or weekly payments. If you want to purchase the item, the store will set up a plan for you to rent it until you pay enough to own it. The store is the legal owner of the item until you make the final payment. If you miss a payment, the store can take the item back. If this happens, you will not own the item and you will not get your money back. Rent to own agreements are technically loans, so no interest is charged. However, the difference between the cash price and your total payment is like the interest you pay on a loan. Generally, using rent to own services is more expensive than getting a consumer installment loan to buy the item outright. Payday Loan Services Payday loans are usually made to people who need money right away and plan to pay it back with their next paycheck. Payday loans should only be used for emergencies. If you cannot fully repay the loan within a few pay periods, you should consider a longer term loan from a financial institution. If you do not have the money to pay the loan within the agreed upon time period, the lender will renew the loan and charge you additional fees. This increases the total amount you owe. Refund Anticipation Loan Services Refund Anticipation Loans are short-term loans secured by your income tax refund. Although the business preparing your income tax return will give you the money, you are actually receiving a loan from a bank or finance company. Because you do not have to pay any fees associated with obtaining a refund anticipation loan at the time you receive the money, you may not realize how much this loan is really costing you. When you electronically file or e-file your tax return and request direct deposit, your refund is often deposited in your bank account within two weeks. Sometimes refund anticipation loans take just as long, yet cost you substantially more money. How Credit Decisions Are Made When you apply for credit, the lender will review the four C's to decide whether you are a good credit risk, whether you are likely to pay back the loan. Capacity Capacity refers to your present and future ability to meet your payments. Capital Capital refers to the value of your assets and your net worth. Character Character refers to how you have paid your bills or debts in the past. Banks will use credit reports to obtain character information. You can request a copy of your credit report by contacting any of the three credit reporting agencies, Equifax, Experian, formerly TRW, and TransUnion. More detailed information about credit reports is covered in the Credit Repair and Grooming Education series. Collateral Collateral refers to property or assets offered to secure the loan. Checklist for Credit Decisions Here are some questions you might be asked when applying for credit. Capacity How long have you been in your job? How much money do you make each month? What are your monthly expenses? Capital how much money do you have in your checking and savings accounts? Do you own a house? Do you have investments or other assets, for example, a car? Character Have you had credit in the past? How many credit accounts do you have? Have you ever filed for bankruptcy? Had any outstanding judgments? Had property repossessed or foreclosed upon? Made late payments? Collateral do you have assets to provide as collateral to secure the loan beyond your capacity to pay it off? Questions to ask yourself before applying for credit. Do I need this? Do I need this now? Can I wait until I have cash to pay for it? Can I get credit? How much more will I pay if I buy on credit? Can I afford the monthly payments? What is the total cost of the credit? Are there any fees? What is the annual percentage rate? Tips for managing your credit. Once you get credit, if possible, pay off your entire bill each month. If you cannot, try to pay more than the minimum balance due. This will reduce finance charges and total interest paid. Pay on time to avoid late fees and to protect your credit history. If you cannot pay on time, call your creditor immediately to explain the situation. The creditor may waive the late fees or be willing to make other payment arrangements. 
Always check your monthly statement to verify that it accurately lists the things you bought. Call your creditor right away if you suspect errors in your statement. Ignore offers creditors may send you to reduce or skip payments. You will still be charged finance charges during this period. Think about the cost difference if you purchase your item with cash versus if you purchase your item with credit. Thank you for completing the Borrowing Basics lesson plan with us. Great job!